Good morning, gamers. We got three gifts. I am feeling it today. I I think I I slept until like half one in the afternoon. Um, I'm recording this at two in the afternoon. So if it's late, that's why. I don't, I don't know, know where my, my hair's, hair's gone. gone. Okay, my hair is back. Lovely. <laughs> But what gifts do we get? Looks like leg warmers or something. Let's see. I want these IRL so badly. Polar cutie fur leg warmers. Oh. We've got two pairs of leg warmers now. Let warmers again. No, we've got two pairs of leg warmers, but one without shoes. Actually, no, because you can toggle it without shoes. Hey. Oh. Look at that, I got a gift from last year. So I think these ones are going to be cool because you can wear them with other shoes and you don't have to wear them with those specific shoes. So it's got a lot of opportunities, outfit hacks for other shoes, which is probably what I'm gonna be doing in this video once I've done all of the advent stuff today. So I will add these ones in, how cool. Leg warmers, they are quite spiky though. So watch your fingers. You don't want, want to have, have a Aurora moment. Moment, do you? Hey, 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 I know Halo. Nothing is a surprise with this fountain. Fountain girl. Why would you steal from me? And so ready, people. It's not okay. Could you just give me the halo for once? Also, wouldn't it make sense if she had a halo on her head instead of a crown? Have we ever thought about this before? Anyways, let's head to my real life calendars. Open up the theme for today and also get the Roblox thing. So little left. Let's go. Welcome back to advent it's day 23 it's christmas eve tomorrow it's christmas eve eve we've only got two doors left on this calendar so it means we're not going to get one on christmas day from the roblox calendar how sad and i believe it is the legs of santa the legs the legs of santa what and i did it there he is and he's got his legs right day 23 of this christmas eve eve for the royal high theme calendar door 23 and oh i'm so smart i forgot i made this theme <laughs> No, I didn't. Aren't I just the best at these? Look at this. Bling, bling, crim. So an outfit that is blingy, sparkly, glittery, gems, diamonds, that sort of thing, you know. And then crim. Christmas. Glittery, sparkly, diamond, rich Christmas. Amazing. That is the theme for today. Hopefully you won't struggle. I think it's pretty straightforward. Thus concludes day 23. And well, now we go to the game and make an outfit for bling bling cream. Let go, let go, let go, let go. Welcome back gamers. So the theme is bling bling cream, which is so cool. I'm so smart and, and intelligent. Um, whoa, I just did like 500 flips. Look, that bling bling crim name and just won't ever be over it. I'm so smart to come up with that. This outfit requires sparkles and glitter and flashiness. Yes, we have to make it very in your face. So let's go do that. I know for certain that I want to use this skirt really badly and I want to use it with a sparkling pattern. We don't have to go for gold, but I do want to use a sparkly pattern. Oh my goodness, that is the most beautifulest pattern I have ever seen. Oh my goodness. Wait, I need to find another purple that looks similar. Maybe I just keep it like that. I think that's pretty, but not right for this outfit. Shining stars. Not sure about this corset though. I need a different one. Oh, <laughs> That is beautiful. We need some kind of sleeves though to go with it. I just want some short capped sleeves that aren't huge. Some small like t-shirt style sleeves, right? So they connect to a lot of torsos. I wonder if we can find anything in an outfit. See what I mean? I don't want it to be long sleeves though. Okay, I think I'm going with that. Um, Do I keep this hair on or do I go for the fancy one that one also though i need to find a hat then i will decide what hair i want to use think i figured it out 
Using the headband on this hair with the bow. New outfit hack unlocked. It's so pretty. Diamond earrings in that. <sighs> I can't decide between lipstick colours. I think the black makes it look like all of that colors on the top and then it fades to the purple on the bottom or if i just make it purple for the contrast okay the black lipstick makes it looks like it's part of the outfit but i'll keep the purple on the eyes i can't decide on the lipstick color help it's a vital part of this outfit and i can't pick one it looks like it's more cohesive with the outfit and the purple is the only thing that's infecting it except for the eyes because the eyes need to stay purple otherwise it might get all the same colour. I think now this is amazing. Got my charm bracelet on and my Coma Bub ring. Very expensive looking. This skirt is just beautiful. I love it with this top. I think I need to change the sleeves quickly. Changing the lips like the dress in <laughs> Sleeping Beauty. Anyway, this is my outfit to the theme of bling bling crim or crim crim bling. Whichever you prefer. Yeah, I think this outfit is just absolutely beautiful. And I think it fits the theme as well as being very, very fancy. Also, you can send in your outfit screenshots to me on Twitter at It's Limey. Don't forget. Also, I am going to be showing you some outfit hacks today with some trousers. So let's let's head into that now. Let's find out some outfit hacks you can do to create some cool looking trousers in Royal High. Let's go. Okay, let's get started then. And oh, I'm going to have to get rid of this outfit. I've saved it. Don't worry. I've saved it. Let's get started with some trouser outfit hacks for Royal High. Most of them are flares. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to start off with a classic that I've used a lot in the past. And that uses the Monchery shoes, whatever they are. These two, I think, are the shoe colours here. So you want to colour these in whichever colour you want. And then I am going to use a pattern. You don't have to use a pattern. You could also use any colour you want here. But I'm going to find a blue jean pattern. I'm going to go for this one. And then you want to make sure you do both of those. Because this one is the heart on the side of the leggings. Then we're going to go into legs and feet. If you have this. And use the mix matched socks. I'm going into blue again. And scroll all the way down to find that pattern that is right near the bottom. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a pattern search? There we go. So even on its own, it looks pretty cool when you use the right animation. But I think the best one for this one is the bubbly animation. So when it's complete, you have a nice pair of flares for your legs. Amazing. And these ones are very smooth. So these are going to work really well for you. And this is without any adjustments to the woman pack or anything because there is another outfit hack that is pretty much the same as this but involves extra steps to make the socks look different in a different shape so you get a different style so that's the one we're gonna try next so for this I'm consulting the Royal High wiki this is a outfit hack Karasunef sent to me it's been going around on YouTube and on Twitter as well at the moment so I'm not actually sure who originated it but this is where I saw it first so I'm just gonna give credit to this post on the wiki so this is from kawaii witch Here's Here's how to do the hack with the Monchery heels. So you go into body types, you go to spooky, you equip this guy, then put on the MC heels and then put on the St. Patrick's socks and make them the matching colours. Remember to add a corset and sleeve so it won't look like this. Okay, so it seems pretty simple enough. Let's see if we could go into body types and then to spooky. And if our outfit is going to just get changed completely. I think it's this one, Squad Ghouls or Wendy. So let's try this is the best one by far so you don't even have to put the monstery heels or the socks on afterwards you can do it before like we just did and click on the squad goals uh package in body type spooky so don't forget that and then you're going to want to put on the torso so you can just put one on quickly like this and then arms some smooth arms would be nice <laughs> So you have to use sleeves and a top in this outfit hack, which is a shame. Let me get myself a nice Y2K hairstyle. And that is the second outfit hack. I love this one. This has got to be one of my favorites and it's been going around a lot recently. See, even in stylish, it looks pretty cool, though it looks more obvious. So I would recommend just using bubbly animation. When you look from the side though, it looks a bit weird, not gonna lie. From the front though? 
they're amazing. So for the next one, we're going to have to find a jean pattern in designs because for this next one, we're going to be using the cookie cutter leather loafers. So top of the shoes, we can make these any color. I'm going to make them all in black again. It doesn't really matter in which way. And then we're going to put a blue jean pattern on for loofy bits. There we go. And now we're going to look for a design that uses jeans in them. Now you don't actually have to use jeans. This is the best one I've found so far. Kelsey Anna pastel trendy shirt with high-waisted jeans. Those match the best. So that looks pretty cute, right? So you have another option for flares here, but you don't have to go for jeans if you don't want to, because it kind of forces you to wear the top. We could try this in a different color. It's a very simple one called Black Hole to Top with Black Jeans by Soyera? Soyera? This one is amazing. I love this design. Super cute and simple. There you go. That is the second pair of flares or trouser hacks. So the next one is going to involve the newest leg warmer item. So we can get rid of those. And we could try any trouser we want to, really. We can even use the goffy cutie boots if we wanted to. So either the goffy cutie, which is what I'm going to try today. And then we're just going to do these all in white for contrast. So the last three, you want to keep the shorts and the back of the boots. First one here in that same color. Okay, finally, I did it. I toggled it all the way down to these ones. This is the ones I want to use. And then I'm going to go into accessories and find my polar cutie fur leg warmers. Now, on these, obviously, you can see the thing above the leg there. So you could always use the higher platform ones if you wanted to. What you would have to do is toggle, make these match the colour. So spikes and chains and the boots. So you'd have to have the boots the same colour, which is sad. But, but you can always add that contrast in with the laces and the straps. I imagine this one is going to look a lot better when you have a more fancy outfit even when you use bubbly hair it looks like you've got a cool like little maxi skirt on let's see what the jeans look like on these leg warmers and then we have to match all of these on the goffy cutie to them oh but then the boots have to be jeans yeah there we go so if you want super tall ones but i don't think it looks as good with the super tall ones but if you want to get rid of that wear jeans then you, you can do but you just kind of have to deal with that spiky bit. If you colour it all in one colour though, like black or something, I think it would still look fine. And then we can just add our top and everything to this outfit, whatever we want to wear. And you don't have to force yourself to wear sleeves with this one. I saw a while back on Twitter that you could use these summer fantasy trousers, but in the short form. Um, in like the male short form. Okay, they actually do go that far down, but it makes you wear sandals if you're fine with wearing sandals. Oh, I have to go through all of that again because I equipped it from this menu. Sobbing, crying, screaming. I'm gonna put on the pattern first. Let's find it though. Can we make that? Yes, we need to make that a blue so it doesn't look like that. Oh, perfect. And then we can change all of our toggles from here. Maybe the chains we can do in either white or black for a bit of contrast there. Let's go for white. And then what does this one do? Oh, it changes the shoes a little bit. So you don't have to have jandals. And then I'll change my corset top to white. There we go. That's pretty, right? And then we can change our animation to uh whichever one we want to really and this one is a nice one for summer and also it has a kind of skatery vibe in my opinion but it's super cool and i think even without the flares on here it would look cool anyway the final one is basically the same as this you get rid of those though and we're gonna equip the socks instead so we want to find the mix matched socks and I saw this on Twitter, like I mentioned before. I'm going to put these in the jeans, by the way. I saw these on Twitter um, before, and I cannot remember who posted about them. I can't find the post anywhere, but I did see this on Twitter originally. I'm going to put the socks on like that. So we're just going to put that one on in the white again. And... We have to find the arms. I think this one will just work. Let's try that one. Going into body body types. And we're going to search by spooky again and find squad goals. And here we go. 
So this one, but this one is slightly more glitchy because it doesn't look so great from the back. Let's try a different animation. Okay, so for this one, you want to wear the mage animation. You can't really use any other animations because it makes them stick out from the, the, the legs like that. Um, but if you stand perfectly still with the mage animation, it looks great. So this one is not very functional, but it is a design if you wanted to take some cool pictures. So if you go into animations and stuff like standing, legs or something like that. How cute is that one? Could you star and make them look like that? <laughs> Swimming could also work as well. So I believe that was six trouser hacks. I can't believe there's six of them. But there you go, six trouser hacks to wear in Royal High. And and they're super cool. I really like them. But anyway, thanks so much for watching this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to send in your screenshots to the theme of Bling Bling Krim to me on Twitter at Islami. And I will see you tomorrow for day 24. And that will be Christmas Eve. It will be my second to last video of Advent, which is so sad, but also very nice for me because I'm absolutely exhausted. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everyone. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Thank you.